this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. <laughs> hey, hey. I know it's been, you know, a little minute. It's been a couple weeks, you know. Before y'all, before y'all whoop my ass, just know, um, I, I've been busy. You know, I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy. You know, um, I didn't forget about YouTube or anything of that nature. I just, you know, like. Later that night. Next morning. Y'all, let me tell y'all about what my dumb behind did. I tried to do this last night. For whatever reason, it just wasn't hitting the way I wanted it to. Getting frustrated, but I was like, to calm my nerve, right? Why not make me some cinnamon rolls? I was so frustrated doing this, I forgot that I had preheated the oven. Oh, fucking dumbass! So I went in the bathroom, washed my face, and laid down and fell asleep. I woke up this morning like, why is my room Cold, but my living room and my kitchen hot. I mean, I want the hot. I left the oven on. You're so damn dumb, it isn't funny. Kiss my ass! I was like, oh. But guess who has cinnamon rolls for breakfast? Me. Oh, pardon me. Mind my manners. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing phenomenal. <laughs> For those of you, if you're new, welcome. My name is Terion. If you're returning, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. If you're returning, let me just say you to go. I love you. I love y'all, for real. I love us for real. Enough with the shenanigans. So today's video is a recreation video. For those of you who are not familiar with Yuki on YouTube, do better. Because when I tell you, she ain't nothing to be played with. The homegirl know what she be doing. There's this one particular look I saw on YouTube that she posted. It was a recreation of someone who created a look using um, digital editing, and they might make this whole palette. She recreated their post, and I'm recreating her video. We're not recreating it, I'm just trying to mimic the look. So, I'm scared. Cause I did this for Play Play one night and it came out phenomenal. Her. And then I tried it last night and it was like, <laughs> so, <sighs> Lord, please, please. They are so rude. Are you finished? I'm trying to say a prayer here. First things first, you're gonna wanna prime your eye. And for that, you can use either an eyeshadow primer or you can be cheap like me and just use what you got. I'm gonna use some concealer because I mean, that's what she used and it came out bomb. So just prime your eye. Oh, and the shade I used is almond. I mean, that's not really gonna matter, but you know, you don't wanna go in with anything too dark. Okay, so that's blended out to perfection. And now you're gonna wanna set it using a powder. I'm gonna use translucent. In her video, she just set this area where like crease. She didn't set the whole thing. So I'm gonna stop there. And then here, I'm just gonna set this area right here. Okay? Okay. So first things first, I'm gonna use this bad boy here. Okay? Going with this shade here and apply this to the crease area and blend up into the brows. So just start here. Well, actually, no, I'm not. She did that and I tried to mimic it and it just didn't come out right. So I'm gonna go up higher than I normally would, but I'm not gonna go into my brows. You mainly wanna focus everything like right here and right here, but connect it, you know, you, you want it to look good still. So next you wanna go in with your blending brush, a clean one, and just soften out those edges. And then I'm gonna add some more, mainly in that crease area for now. 
And I'm gonna go a little bit higher because we are gonna cut the crease. You wanna have enough there, you know? So I'm gonna blend that, I'm gonna blend it up into the brow area, but I'm not going to just smack it up there. So the next step is to take a, she used like a plum type of color. And for that, I, I'm gonna use this right here. Mix with a little bit of this right here. And I'm gonna go into that crease area and really define that. It does look kind of off-putting, but when everything comes together, it'll make more sense. So to help blend that out, I'm gonna go in with that reddish pink shade again and try to blur that, the edges of the purple out. Looks crazy. <laughs> but it looks a lot better than it did that first night, I will say that. So next, I'm going to further deepen that crease with this shade here, just so that way everything's kind of consistent. So you see how there's that, well, it's kind of not, that gradient within it, that's what you want. Okay, so now, here's the fun part, we're about to cut the crease. You wanna take that same concealer from earlier and apply it to this part of your lid, right? Now, if you have hooded lids, you need to do that, okay? I kid you not, every time I do a cut crease, because I don't do them often, one always looks different than the other. And then it doesn't help that I have like a mono lid and then the actual lid. <laughs> so it just looks crazy. Oh my gosh. So now I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna wipe off that same brush. Listen, I'm not using 10,000 brushes for one look, okay? I'm not. Nope. You're gonna dip into that same palette. And we're gonna go in with a mixture of this sparkly shade here and the red. And then you're gonna spray it. And then you're gonna apply it to your, your new crease. And oh. So now that you have that applied, you're gonna go in with that um, plum color and fade it into the, put the plum color on the outer third of your eye. Oh, you need professional help, hang on. Okay, okay. Dr. Phil, Oprah, somebody help. Oh, this is coming, oh, this, oh. <laughs> now I'm going to take the tiniest bit of black. I'm gonna deepen my crease. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of concealer in my inner tear duct area because this is where things are gonna start taking a turn in a good way. So next, I'm gonna go in with this bright green here and set that in the inner tear duct area. I'm with the James Charles palette and I'm gonna apply that icy blue color. I'm gonna take a break on the eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and do the face. And so for that, I'm gonna use my Becca foundation in the shade Coconut. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Cameo Concealer. This is in the shade Deep Cinnamon. I need to contour. And for that, I'm gonna use the same contour I've been using for like the past two years, and that's Miss Fenty Girl. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes. And for the bottom portion, I'm gonna go in with that first transition shade, that red, and apply that to the, the waterline, essentially. So I'm going with these KISS All Natural Hair Lashes. They look like this. I got them from Walmart. I kid you not. Where? And be careful, you don't wanna get glue everywhere. is applied and as you can see it looks pretty doggone good okay, so I forgot to mention um, on the inner lid you want to add some gold first time I did it but you know whatever And the last step is lips, of course. So for that, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Rada da. Rada da. Lip balm. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, as you guys can see. And I'm a dab. And next, I'm gonna go in with my Holy Grail, Miss Fenty. Ooh. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go change into something real quick and I'll be right back with the final result. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, I like that! Right, so this is the finished look. So cute. So yeah, honestly, I had a lot of fun recreating this. Like I said, it's out of my norm. It's out of my little comfort zone, but that's the point. I want to get out of it. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. I went and popped in some eyes real quick. You know, got to be extra with it. I can't stop looking at myself because I just, I look so good. Holy damn, you look good. <laughs> but let me, <laughs> let me get out of this camera. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a fun time making it. So yeah, I can't stop looking at myself. I, I just look so, I look so pretty. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below. Never fear, the videos are near, okay? So I got you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on my next upload. Bye.